Fog of War is available to all Roll20 users and allows GMs to choose what their players can and cannot see on the map. In this video, we'll go over how to enable Fog of War on your maps and how to use it in-game. To use Fog of War, you first have to enable it on the page you're using. Open up the page toolbar by clicking on the blue page icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. Hover over the thumbnail of the page you want to enable Fog of War on and click the gear icon to open up the page settings. Scroll down to the Fog of War toggle. By default, this is set to off. Now, before you click the toggle to enable, keep in mind that if you're a plus or pro user and are using Roll20's updated dynamic lighting, turning on Fog of War will disable updated dynamic lighting since the new updated system has advanced Fog of War integrated into it. Now, if you're a free user, or you'd rather use the original Fog of War, click the toggle on. Click Save Settings. Now that Fog of War is turned on, you may notice that your map is a little darker than it was before. With Fog of War on, your map is now completely covered, you guessed it, in fog. Now, to reveal parts of your map to your players as they explore, you'll use the Fog of War tools in the toolbar on the left-hand side of the screen. Hover your mouse over the icon that looks like a cloud. Now, the top two options are your reveal tools. By selecting reveal areas, you can now click and drag a rectangle on your map and reveal everything inside it to your players. Now, if you'd like your selection to snap to the grid, hold down shift while dragging your mouse over dark areas. This is great if you don't want to risk anything being revealed outside your grid. And it keeps your map a little tidier. Next, go back to the toolbar and select the polygon tool. Now the Polygon Reveal tool is perfect for revealing areas that are more complex than just a regular rectangle. For example, a hallway with turns or an oddly shaped room. After you click the Polygon Reveal tool, you can click to drop points on your map. Every point you drop will connect to the last one. You can hold shift while you add points and the lines you make will snap to the grid. This is great for revealing rooms and hallways. If you drop a point you didn't mean to or make a mistake, Pressing Ctrl Z will undo the last point you made, but not undo the last reveal you made. You can finish up the polygon in three ways, either left clicking back on the beginning point you started with, right clicking anywhere, or hitting escape on your keyboard. Now, if you reveal something accidentally, or maybe your players lose vision on part of the map, you can use the hide tool to bring back Fog of War in that area. Hover over the eye in the toolbar again, and select the third option, the Hide Areas tool. This works just like the Reveal tool, but in reverse. Once selected, click and drag over parts of your map to hide them from your players. You should notice the areas you cover up go back to that darker shade. Now, the last option of Fog of War tools is Reset Fog. If you click this, a confirmation will pop up asking if you want to cover back up your map. Oh, here's a tip. If you want to see what the map looks like to your players, to test what they can see and cannot see, change your cursor back to select move, select the player's token, and press Ctrl L. This will show you the map from selected tokens perspective. It's an easy way to check your work. If you want to get back to your GM view, simply click anywhere on the map. Now you know the ins and outs of Fog of War. Try adding it to your game to give your players an even more immersive experience.